Okay, Psalms chapter 51, verse 6 says, Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts. Now, I want to dedicate this video to a friend of mine named Dan. Dan is an ex-Christian that hasn't been into a church for over 10 years. He loves hip-hop, but feels like Christianity is unable to appreciate or accept passionate musicians such as himself. So this video is dedicated to you, Dan. I hope you enjoy, and God bless. You know, I used to box. I was a state champion in my country with a record of 12 wins and two losses. A few years after I became a Christian, I found myself in a gym that just so happened to have a boxing bag. I walked over and I put on those community boxing gloves and I started whacking away at this heavy bag. Then all of a sudden, soon after I finished, I felt this wave of guilt just wash over me. You know, when I was baptized, it was to the song, I Surrender All. If I was hitting this boxing bag as an ex-boxer, had I really surrendered all? Or, in the moment that I was whacking away at this bag, had that old man of sin just so happened to resurrect again? And then I remember soon after I left the gym, I got on my phone and I called the pastor that baptized me. His name was Lloyd Rolleman of Australia. Look him up. And then I called Lloyd up on the phone and I said, look, I feel like I, I can't be myself. I feel like Nathan is disappearing and I feel like my personality is being absorbed into the broader Christian personality. And I'll never forget that day what Pastor Lloyd Grolleman said to me on the phone, sitting down at the local train station in Warunga, New South Wales. And he said to me, and this blew a breath of fresh air into my world, Nathan, you are more you in Jesus than what you could ever be outside of him. Jesus is not trying to replace your personality, but to accentuate your personality. He makes Nathan fully Nathan in Jesus and none of Nathan away from Jesus. He doesn't make you less of you, but makes you fully you in Jesus. You are more you than what you could ever be away from him. You know, sometimes we feel that to convert means to conform and that a personal decision for Christ means a rejection of personhood to Christianity. That in order for Christ to come in, everything pertaining to my personality, preferences and personhood had to go out. When I first started considering Christianity, it almost sounded like Christ wasn't the one that sacrificed himself for me, but rather Nathan needed to sacrifice himself for Christ. But if you read it carefully, you'll see that the Bible is full of anti-conformist language. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Don't be conformed, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. New. Renew. Be new. Speaking of new, it says in Psalms 96, verse 1, Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. The people of God are described in Revelation chapter 5, verse 9 as those who are singing a new song. God didn't create you to fit molds. He made you to break them. In other words, you're not just some item of mass production coming off a long line of cosmic conveyor belts. No, God made you to be authentic, to be genuine, to be original, and to have truth in the inward parts. Okay, until next time, it's Nathan Asher. May God bless you and may God rest you. I'll see you next time.